Fernando Tatis Jr. will not be coming back until July because his wrist is healing slowly. This yeah, is they said it was healing added. a lot slower than they expected. Yeah, and so this is the weird. stat. I, well, go ahead. Oh, no, it's kind of weird. It's a weird thing. It I is weird. Know. I think this is the saddest news in the whole thing right now, honestly. I, I want to see him on the field. I want to see him playing, playing well. I want to see the Padres playing well. And I'm just plain old disappointed in this. But I do I do think like this is long-term investment protection for the club, for him, for the league, on and on. It's a good decision to take this slow, but it is disappointing. That's all. Right. Well, and the other thing, too, is that look at how well the Padres are playing without him. I know. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens when he comes back. Yeah. Do they really step will. up another another notch or do they step back because the and chemistry is I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be really interesting. But I feel like Machado has really stepped it up and is Dude, playing he win on the a MVP. whole new level. It's nuts. He's playing it's out of fun. mind. He is playing out of his mind, and it's funny because I, I keep telling people, I've been telling people for years that Manny Machado is underrated, and everybody says that he's overrated. I'm like, no, and this is what I've been – this is what I knew he could do. He's so yeah. good, Brick. He is. He's so good. Well, and we talked about it when they pulled him into the clubhouse in San Diego and signed him for a long deal for a lot of money. I, I, we both said, like, this is, this is the leadership they need. They're going to build around his confidence. They're going to build around his experience. They're going to build around some of his swagger, which has muted, honestly, in the last three five, three to five years. He has gone from cocky, entitled, arrogant, self-important mm-hmm. to, to and, and, but still a terrific ball player. But he was like the bad guy yeah. of the league to now. Now we're all cheering him on. We're all excited for him. And he's quieted well, down. The, yes. It's yeah. awesome. And I feel like I feel like people are still talking, like treating him like he's the bad guy he used to be. Yeah. But man, no, he's a completely different person. It's kind of like Bryce Harper when he went to Philly. Yes. Right. He really settled down, really matured. Machado has really matured into his role, and he's do, he's playing it really, really well. And it can be a problem for the rest of the NL West if he continues to elevate that roster the way that he is. I think what's going on with both Harper and Machado is that they were playing on underperforming ball clubs that undervalued their talent and abilities and wouldn't build a team around them as aggressively or as thoughtfully as they intended as a player. You always want that, I, I assume. So that's what I mean. Like, I think now they're beating the, the, the team that's built around them. They're getting the love they deserve. They're getting the opportunities to go out and put, put great performances on the field and not well, be the only one doing it. Yeah. And they're older. Yeah. But I think it goes beyond that because I've seen we've seen older ball players be just as wild and crazy, just as ornery, just as all True. that other stuff. I don't think yeah. age has as much to do with it as as the that they're getting the support well, they deserved. No, I think you're right because you have more to lose, right? If you're on a team that's yeah. bad and isn't going anywhere, who cares if you get thrown out for being a douche, right? But yeah. if you've got a win at stake there, then you want to be out there. You want to be contributing to your team, contributing to that win. Like if you know you're not going to win anyway, then go out, be obnoxious, do it however, act however you want to act. I think so the I same think, goes for I the clubhouse. Something there. Yeah. It's exactly the same in the clubhouse. Like, what do I care? I don't need team cohesion. I don't need unit cohesion. None of that yeah, matters. We're not going anywhere win anyway. Win anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm just out here for myself. I'm trying to get paid. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So he takes, and if I'm loud, the rest of the league will see me. Yes. See what I'm capable of, and they'll bring yes. me in and pay me. And, and yeah. they did. It was rewarded, which is a little bit too bad, but it also worked. 